Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Beyond the Horizon. Thank you for much. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Fred, and we're here to check out the one, the only, the T Pain. Um, he dropped a new song uh, recently. Um, T Pain just kind of been everywhere, um, but unfortunately, right now, I think the market on where majority of music is getting to right now. It's getting to the point of dance music. Um, Drake's album was a dance album. Um, didn't listen to the full album. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, not the sound of music that I'm particularly fond of. Um, same thing with Beyonce album. Uh, I'm going to check out a song after this song. Uh, a lot of people been talking about Church Girl. So I'm going to check out Church, Gr Church Girl after this video that we're going to do right here. So... Um, but this one right here caught my attention a little bit. It's called Softest Hard featuring and T-Pain um, I'm Blue record. So this just came out uh, in this came out in July. So I'm a little behind on this one. So we're going to check out this one. And then after that one, we'll check out the next one. So T-Pain, man. Softest Hard. Step up to the ballpark. Let's get it. See can you get a home run. Already, just from the beat sample, it sound like um, um, blue um by um, Iffy, Effy. I can't remember the name of it, but um, you know this little person in a blue little car, uh, living a blue little house. That that's what it sound like. So, um, maybe he sampled it, and that's where the the sound came from. You know, one thing I appreciate from T-Pain is that T-Pain always makes the type of music that he wants to make, but he always makes, he makes the music good in his own way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know anybody that have tried to sample that beat, use that beat or anything of that nature. I knew you were going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, I don't think anybody ever tried to use this song before. So that's pretty dope that he brought that back. This song right here is listed under dance, but it sounds like techno or dubstep. More techno than dubstep. So that's what that's probably the reason why I like it a lot better than most dance songs. Um, most dance songs that I listen to is probably like dance hall, reggae. Um, you know what I'm saying? There's different things of that nature. So that's usually the dance music that I'm liking. And just to be real, um, I don't think a lot of, hold on, let me make sure I say this correctly. I don't think a lot of writing went on to this song. It seemed like he found a nice hook, and that's pretty much all he did, and then let the beat play in the back. Now, that could this could be used at a rave concert 
because uh, you know what I'm saying, do have the build and then have the drop. The only difference is it don't have the extreme drop like most rave concert music have. So um, that's the only difference between this one and that one. But you know what I'm saying, a little bit more editing or somebody doing the dubstep version of it or, or a techno version or whatever remix version that they're going to make of it, it probably could definitely be at a rave club or something like that. So. That was nice. That that was nice. That was nice. I heard them drop their moniker or their name, uh, Soft is Hard, and then that's when the beat changed up a little bit. It went to a slower tempo pace, and then it became a little bit more um, drummy. So I definitely appreciate that. Let's rewind that back, man. That, that was nice. So that right there was um, Soft is Hard and T-Pain, I'm Blue. So um, that was a dope song. You know what I'm saying? I give that a 7. 7.5 seven, 7. maybe uh, just because it's T-Pain. I don't know who Soft is Hard is. Seem like they're one of the DJs out there that's remaking songs. And probably he just got with T-Pain and said, hey, man, let's go ahead and do a record together. Definitely dope. That's definitely a dope song. Um that one would definitely be added to the playlist, uh, added to the library. Um, and yeah, that that one that one was pretty nice, man. Um, and so I'm going to go and record Beyonce's video. Then I'm going to record a standalone video asking a question. That's not going to be a very long um, video, just to see what people want to do for the future of this channel. Uh, reviewing songs is strenuous. Trying to review every single song without listening to every single, without listening to the album that I really want to listen to is becoming like crazy. So uh, I'm going to talk about that in the video um, that we're going to upload eventually today. I think I'm going to upload all three of them or I may just keep a few in the tuck like I usually do with the other ones. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So, you know, I'm back making videos again. Thank you so much. And as always, it's not about the destination, but it's about the journey. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.